Hey friends, it is Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of the She Makes Club. And the Spotify glass frame that I did for my brother earlier this year has been so popular and I've received so many comments and questions. I came up with another idea for using the Spotify codes to make a Christmas ornament. It'll be so fun. We're gonna use the infusible ink and the infusible ink coaster blanks because why not? It'll be a nice size ornament. It'll be super fun and festive and we're gonna do a Christmas song with the Spotify code. So let's get started. All right, since I've already done some of these videos before, I'm gonna walk you through really quickly, but if you get lost, either message me or refer to my other Spotify videos at YouTube or at She Makes Club. I'm just going to show you really quick. We're going to go into Spotify, open that up from the desktop. Okay, so I wanna use the desktop app to open Spotify. Then I'm going to search for the song I want, and I want Donny Osmond, Oh Holy Night, is the song I'm doing. Okay, let's just start by searching Donny Osmond. I think the Christmas album, there it is, Christmas at Home. And we're just going to look for Oh Holy Night, there it is. Okay, so there's a ton of songs, obviously. You just search for the one you want. From the desktop app, you need to click on these three buttons here. And then once you click on that, go down to share, and then copy the Spotify URI. Super simple, copy that. And then I'm just gonna close Spotify. And I'm gonna come over to my web browser and I'm gonna type in spotifycodes.com. From here, I'm just going to copy in that code, get Spotify code, and you can see it brings it right up. Oh, Holy Night Divine, Christmas at Home, and then there it is. Now what I'm gonna do here, I can change the color to black or white, depending on how I wanna do that. So I'm going to make the background white, and I'm gonna make the barcode black, all right? This is just a little bit easier for design space. And then do it as a JPEG, so then just click download, It'll bring up your download. Now you just wanna make sure that you keep the JPEG extension intact, but I'm going to rename it to Oh Holy Night. You don't have to rename it, but I'm going to. Make sure that JPEG stays intact, save it. And then there it is. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to open up Design Space and we're gonna start a new project. So I'm gonna upload come over to upload image, browse for my image. Right here is my Oh Holy Night JPEG. Open it. And this is really simple. We're gonna do moderately complex just so it gives a good solid color contrast. This little magic select and erase icon is already there. So there's the cross. We're just going to click in the white areas. It's really that simple. Okay. Whoops. Undo that. Just click in the white areas. So it's literally one, two, three, four clicks. Continue, and it really doesn't matter if you do it in black and white or white and black, it really does not matter. I'm gonna save this as a cut image, but we're not gonna actually cut it out for this project. So now we're just going to select it and insert. Okay, so here is my Spotify code, but I'm going to change this from a line type to a draw type. We're gonna draw this with the infusible ink pens. And we'll just select marker. Here's the infusible ones. Um, well, we'll just do it in black, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We're choosing black infusible ink for this. Okay, so now I need to resize this so that it fits on my ornament or the infusible ink coaster that I'm using for the ornament, which is about three and a half inches wide. So I wanna make sure that my proportions stay intact so that I don't stretch or warp this code and I just shrink it down in the proportions to be just over three, well, just under three and a half inches. So I'm going to, actually I'm gonna do 3.17, that should be good. So it's only about a half inch tall, which should be just fine. Okay, so the additional thing that I'm going to add is the play bar. I already have that saved. I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna grab that. This is something that I made previously. So we're going to go back over here and we're gonna go to my, I'll search it, Spotify folder here. My Spotify bar folder. And I'll just do the play bar. And 
and this is how I did this before too. So I'm just going to remove the white, two clicks. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the time on this one. This one's just a generic bar. Because we're doing such a small ornament, I don't care. All right, so we're gonna add this. And I'm doing this a little bit differently. We're gonna make this a drawn image also. So the size, all said and done, is 3.17 inches wide by 1.948 inches tall. It should be pretty perfect to center and, and have on the ornament the way I want it to be. All right, so I'm going to save this. So it's going to draw the outline, but what I'm going to need to do is add a little bit of color and a little bit of fill in myself, which is totally fine with me. We're going to go to make it and check out my overhead. Oops. Nope. We're not going to go to make it yet. I'm glad I have that still here. So I need to make sure that this is all attached. <laughs> so we're going to attach it so that it attaches to the mat. First of all, where we want it to be. Secondly, that it all attaches in the order that we want it to uh, make it in. So now we'll go to make it now that it's there and you can see now it's all in order. So that's important. Make sure you attach it. One more thing before we make this in design space is we need to make sure we have mirror turned on because we're using words. So we need to come in here and turn on mirror because we're going to need to reverse this onto our design. You'll see. So just make sure you mirror it if you're doing anything with words or things that need to be the right way when you transfer that uh, over. Okay. So, so now we got to just open up our packaging and we want to be careful because these are ceramic. We don't want to uh, crack or break anything. So here is the side. The shiny side is what we're going to do the infusible ink on and then we'll glue a ribbon to the back to make it an ornament. That'll just get set to the side for the moment. We're going to use the black infusible inks that we designed with. It doesn't matter what color you design with to be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, these do not work in the Cricut Joy. These only work in the Cricut Maker as of now, these particular ones. All right, really important. This is laser paper. I'm going to load it in, laser copy paper. And load that guy in. We'll get the easy press preheated by turning it on. We know it needs to be heated. Okay, so press temperature to 400 degrees for using any of the infusible ink. And then the time is really long for these. It's actually two minutes and 40 seconds is what it actually requires to um, set this in. But don't worry, we'll just leave it sit here. We're not gonna move it around or, or do anything crazy with it. We're just going to set the timer, set the heat, and we'll let it do its thing. If you hold this down, it goes up in five second increments. We're going to 240. Okay, now that it's done, I'm going to unload. And you can see there's some areas that I need to fill in to um, kind of complete my design. I wanna make sure that all the little lines are filled in and I gotta fill them in very carefully not to distort the actual code, all right? So let's just very carefully. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to fill in the little play button and the heart. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use these words because the pen did bleed with this small of a font. But I'm not too worried about it. So let's kind of see here. We'll do this in two parts. Okay. Again, 
this is done in reverse. So I'm just going to hand cut this out really quickly. I'm gonna lay down a plain piece of cardstock. I'm going to take my, my image here and I'm going to also grab a piece of washi tape just to make this stay where I want it to stay. I don't need much, just a little tiny piece. So this is going on here backwards. You can see through the paper pretty well. And we're not gonna be moving anything a whole lot here. I think this is actually gonna be good just like this. I don't know that I'm gonna do the words. There's that. Now I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna flip it upside down, okay? Just keep it in place. I'm going to grab my parchment paper, butcher paper. We're set to 400 degrees for 240 seconds and we're just gonna set it directly down and make sure we lift it directly up. We don't want this to move and wiggle around, okay? So just set it down, press the start, and let it do its thing. It's literally like four minutes. Okay, timer done. Lift straight off. You can see how hot, hot, hot this is. It totally discolors the parchment paper um, because it's 400 degrees and it's on there for a long time. So I'm going to just remove the parchment paper, but keep in mind, this is super, super, super hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it till it cools off, okay? So we'll come back in a minute and check on it. All right, so now that we're pretty good and cooled off here, I'm gonna flip it over and reveal, holy cow, that's so cool, our Spotify code and, her, and um, oh my goodness, that's really cool. It's really cool. So I'm going to add a little bit of Christmas to this because it's a Christmas ornament. So we're going to make a little loop and a little bow. And let's just start with the loop. You can use hot glue to put the loop on the back of this. Okay. I'm gonna use two little pieces of Extreme Tack by Glue Arts. Um, extreme tack I find works as well as um, hot glue in many cases for this it should be just the same and I don't have to pull out the hot glue gun and wait for it to heat up but if you don't have any extreme tack then I would just grab the glue gun this won't work with regular adhesive squares you have to have the extreme okay, and I'm just going to So then there's my little loop to hang it on the tree. And then I just want to add a little ribbon bow. I have these little red puffy hearts. I kind of just want to add that on there. Make my little bow. interfering with the code and you should be good to go of course it could go above it or below it or however you want to do it maybe you want to do two totally up to you okay that easy you guys and yes Spotify code reader totally reads it it's awesome okay and just to show you how coolly it reads the Spotify uh, code you just go to the Spotify app on your phone when you open it up you're going to want to go to search and then from search, click on this little camera up here on the right. And then you might have to like move it for a second. And just like that, it pulls up the song in Spotify. How amazing awesome is that? I mean, so cool.